Today we're catching our dinner using a whole chicken. Woo! So this is a uh, four pound chicken and I'm only gonna be using this, a piece of string and a net. And I'm gonna be catching a nice feast. Hopefully I'll catch a bucket full of crabs and then I'm gonna show you guys how to make my famous crab cakes. Come on, come on. Got it. Damn. No, it's in there, it's on there. No. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Holy cow. Why? The crab likes the crab likes the juice. Yeah. Okay, I'll pour it on here. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Let's cut this guy up. All right, hold the chicken. Bad boy. Bad girl. Chicken is always a great bait for for crabs. Sometimes you don't have access to fresh fish. They also like fresh fish. Today we're going to be using chicken on a string to catch crabs. Yeah, buddy. Don't cut yourself. Okay, put the string through here. So we'll get a piece of string. I'll yeah. tie it on your thumb. Yeah. <laughs> He's tying it on his thumb. All right, go ahead, pull that through. Oh, oh. Ha! Whoa, there you go. All right, tie that up, Dad. Ooh, that one's got one on there. All right, now we're gonna attach it to a, a rod holder right here. So what are these? These are just PVC poles that I cut at an angle so I can stick it into the mud. And then I drilled some holes right here so that I can tie the string onto there. Okay, so pass me that chicken on the string. Kebab palace. All right, we got fresh chicken. Come and get it. And I think I might need to put a sinker on it. Okay. Yeah, keep it down. So back at my station, I got my waterproof bait box. This is exactly why I keep all my stuff in the waterproof bait box for moments like this. Gonna put one of these sinkers on. So now the sinker will keep the chicken onto the bottom of the, the river here. Keep it from floating up. You want it to stay on the bottom because crabs are bottom feeders. So what was that, the thigh? Yeah, so now we put the thigh onto here. I put a sinker on. It's on a little string. I'll just drop it right here. And now look, when this line starts to straighten out like this and start tugging a little bit, that's how you know that there's gonna be a crab on here. So we caught some fresh fish earlier, but we're gonna be using chicken and fish. And we're gonna see which one works better. You want your chicken gizzard? No, I want to use chicken neck though. Yeah, chicken neck. How about yeah. the wing? The wing is probably a good spot. There we go. So the chicken cost me $8 for all this bait, and hopefully I'll be able to catch hundreds of dollars of crabs. That's the uh, intent, but it doesn't always turn out like that. Let's hope that crabs are here to participate. Chicken wing. It looks like you might have something on there, huh? Oh yeah, I see it moving. Yeah, it's on it's it. Team effort. Oh, it's moving. You see, you see the line moving to the left. When you when you go and grab it, you have to pull it really slow. All right, all right. Here we go. You see it? You see it? Whoa! See. That's a nice one. And look, it fit on the chicken thigh. I just threw this one. 
Be done. He has to scoop it up. Scoop it up, scoop it up, Dad. Hold on, he's got another one. It's got a Two. Jeez, this chicken is working well. I think this one's another one on here. The whole family coming. The whole family. Yeah, it's on here. Yeah, it's on. It's on, Dad. Three. <laughs> Holy crap. This is working. We're getting our fish. We're getting our crabs. We're going to have a good feast tonight. Fighting again. Look at that. Wow. It's going crazy. Crabs are going crazy. There we go. There you go. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. So we put chicken on a couple lines, but honestly, one of these, I'm going to put a nice big chunk of fish. And crabs love fish, especially because there's fish everywhere here. That's primarily what they feed on. But I really think they like chicken too. I've grown up catching plenty of crabs just on chicken necks. And using a whole chicken, you have so much meat on here, you're going to be able to catch a lot of crabs and a lot of things that are going to want to eat that chicken. Let's see which they like better, fish versus chicken. Coming up, coming up, it's here. Scoop it up. There we go, big crab. Oh, and the mayo too. Nice. Put it in. You're gonna have to shake it a little bit. There you go. And we're keeping it in a bucket that has holes in it so that we can keep it in the water and the crabs stay alive. Put the lid back on. And I have a rock at the bottom of this. Here it is, here it is. Get it, Dad. Yeah! Where are you going? That's a big one! <laughs> Be careful! Lean, lean mean killing machine. So we've got our whole floating station, which is basically, we've got these huge rain barrels that we cut in half, and they float on the water, and we use it as like a sled as a platform to carry all of our tackle, our nets, everything that we need for the fishing day. Oh, oh. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let me put it in there first. Is it on there? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh. oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Look at that, it's a big crab. Shit, that's just some, uh, some, some, some. Oh, look, that oh, one has shit. a crab on there. Hey, and that one has a crab on there. Three it, at a time. It's hiding skill is pretty terrible. It's thing coming off. That was, that was through the mouth. Here, let's just put a piece of chicken on there. Forget that. All right. This is when you learn to swim, chicken. The guy told me, he said he's selling one of this for a dollar. A dollar a crab? Yeah, in here, he said he sells $10 for seven on the outside. Wow. I said, man, you better sell them yourself and stuff. That's illegal. Yeah. We don't sell them, we just keep them and eat them. We don't have enough. We just sell them. I wouldn't sell them <laughs> if I could. I don't, I don't need that money, I want to eat them. Oh, are you doing another wing or should we do a, a neck? Look at this big piece. We should just throw this whole thing out after. <laughs> kind of hard to get them. Okay? This is the one though, that one. That one, that one. But this one has a crab on it, look. Whoa! Colossal one! Look at what it bit. The thigh. All right, all so right, we, got, we got four lines out, right? Yeah. We got one on the end. Th these are all chicken, right? One rope, two rope, three rope, four rope. Let's see, we can do like a uh, rotation. Yeah, let's start here and then and make our way down. Yeah, all right, protect your, your juju. Don't let it pinch you. Oh, two of them. Holy cow. Holy mackerel. Two of them. Double Two whammy. big ones too. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Let me see. Let me see. One's a female. It's a husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah, I should let let them all go. Why? Just kidding. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> no. No. Damn. What happened? I don't think they like the wings as much for some reason. Oh, oh, first one's got one. 
All right, Aaron's turn. You're the queen of crabbing. You're just you're just holding the camera today. <laughs> nice job. How many? One? Just one. One big one too. Oh my goodness, another one. Look, look, look. look at that line. Is it on? Nah. On? I don't think so. I don't know if they like swing like you said. Yeah, I don't know if they like the wing so much. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Nice job. <laughs> Good scoop, Aaron. Thank you. Oh, we gotta change hey, do you know way. how to eat crabs? Do you know how to eat crabs? I do. Born and raised in Maryland. How could I not? Okay. Oh, I think the first one. I think that first one. Oh my goodness. All right, Erin, the queen slayer, is going to get it herself. Cool. No help. Okay? She's got this. Just look at that face. She's so serious. How could she miss it? Nothing can break her focus here. I feel it swimming. You see it? I think it let go. Did it let go? It let go. Dang. Ah. All right, go help Dad. All right, so let's just go ahead and try the whole chicken. <laughs> Whoa, we got a double on just the neck. Wow, look at these, look at these lines. They look like a uh, full sail. Here we go, Dad. Oh, this is a big one. This is a really big one. Holy crap. We double. Holy crap. Oh, 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 oh. Uh -huh. It goes right through. You see it? Yeah, it wasn't big enough. Yeah, I guess so. If it was big enough, it wouldn't go right through. Oh. I hope to get that. <laughs> that would be funny. I got this on my head. <laughs> <laughs> it would be good if I could get them. Oh, we got one here. Oh, come on. Small one. Oh, that's okay. It's all right, right? And those two are back on. Oh, oh, oh. Very calm, you see? Oh, oh, oh. Very calm. Nice job, Dad. Professional. Oh. Woo. We're eating good tonight. Scoop them up. Yeah. Hey, man. Sorry. Hey, 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 hey. And a chicken wing in there. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, look at those crabs. Got the full of crabs so far. That was so fast. That was really fast. That chicken is working really well. So what are you finding that works best? The chicken wing? The chicken drumstick? What do you think works best? I like the drumstick. The drumstick with the most meat it seems to be working really well. I think they like to be exposed to meat rather than the skin. They don't yeah. like the skin. I don't know if they like the skin as much. That's why, you know, the, um, the carcass of the... The carcass, yeah. yeah. So this is all we got left here. We got the entire breast. But I don't oh, think we, got we plenty, need it right We don't need no more. I'll tell you that. Oh. That one's on another one. Oh. See, these ones, they don't hold on to it very well. They don't seem Get to... Get rid of it. I don't yeah. think they like this one as much. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Another one. If we miss one more time, we're, we're done with that. Oh man! Oh, two of them. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, that's this piece. They love the thigh. They love this thigh one. I keep getting two of it on this one. Come on, come on. I see it. Got it. Damn. No, it's in there. It's on there. No. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Hold a second. Wait a minute. Hold a second. That's like inside it. That's You're trying to get out, you see? You're trying to get out, got hooked. You're not even kidding me! 
look, they got, they got staff. Damn, look at the bite. Look, I love it. I love it. Oh, the bunghole, too. I'm not eating the bunghole. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, oh see? It's like, oh, oh man, my look God. at the mouth. Look at the mouth. Look at the mouth. Oh, full of meat in there. Oh, you see? Wow. Okay, yeah. They definitely like the big chicken. All right. Let's put this. That went. I never seen that before. How did it like burrowed its way in there? That's, that's like wild. sand flea, sand flea bow into fish, you know, some kind wild. of flea. Okay, so we cut all the limbs off of the chicken. We used both wings, we used both thighs, both uh, drumsticks. We have still the breast, and it seems like these ones, the wings and whatnot, are harder to catch the, the crabs on, but it's seeming like the, the thighs and the drumsticks are catching a lot of them, sometimes two at a time, and uh, we caught almost a bucket full of crabs so far. So, to me, $10 for, I think I paid like $9 for this chicken. $9 and I traded it for a bucket of crabs, that's a good deal for me. If you went out and tried to eat this in a restaurant, this is hundreds of dollars worth of, of seafood. And you can do it right in your own backyard. As long as you live near uh, brackish water and salt water area, you're able to catch your own blue crabs. I definitely recommend you get out there and try it for yourself. It's a really fun adventure to go on with your with your dad, with your family, with your wife, with your fiance, just with anyone you want to go and have fun in the outdoors with. You what's know, the be a secret? Funny guy. Crab whisperer, what's the secret? It's the hat. Oh. Is the, the dad Three. not afraid of crabs? Dude, that's a lie. I'm not afraid of crab. It's that kind of like. So what's your trick, Dad? What's our trick here? Is it your hat? No. I think it's your hat. Um, brings you good luck. Patient. Patience. Yeah. Patience is a virtue, they say. Also, yeah, I mean, we got them. God, we look at these out. huge crabs. We gotta play a game, cast a crab in a bucket play here. You gotta play a game? Yeah, let's see. Catch the crab? Yeah. No, 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 not like that. I don't wanna play no games. Come on, man. It's fine. I don't wanna play games. They don't bite. Yes, they do. I've been pinched and they don't let go either. Ha! Ah. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Nice, you got both of them. Look at that, monkey in a barrel. Yeah. There you go. Uh, ooh, 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 look, there's more right there. Chicken. This is the this is the breast. It's biting it down to the bone. Got him. That is a huge one. Holy Simon Cow. <laughs> you wanna go to chicken. Oh my god, Dad! I think it like it likes the whole chicken because it can burrow its way inside. And no cut in here. The skin. They like to go inside the meat and eat eat it from the inside yeah. out. Comment below. Have you ever seen anything like that before? So the challenge today was catch my dinner using an entire chicken. And wow, we didn't even use the entire chicken. We got an entire bucket of crabs. Look at these huge jumbo crabs and we're still catching. Look at all this chicken we have left. We didn't even need to use like most of it. We just used the legs and the, the wings and ended up catching us an entire bucket full of crabs. Would you do another whole chicken or would you just go for drumsticks next time? Um, I'd just go for drumsticks next time. Now that I know, typically I use necks 
but a lot of times those necks come off really easily. This big meaty thigh has been staying on for many, many crabs at a time. Now, this is just half the journey because we gotta take these home and cook them up now. And I've got a really special way. We're not just gonna eat them in the regular way. I'm gonna shuck them all. And I'm gonna turn them into crab cakes, Maryland style. So part of the good thing about living in Florida is the abundance of seafood and the abundance of wildlife that you can harvest and eat yourself. Part of the charm about living in Maryland is that you really know how to eat crabs. And I really know how to make these crab cakes in a fantastic way. I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna take these back home. I'll see you in my kitchen. back at home, we got almost a bushel of crabs here. I'm gonna steam them up real quick, and this is just a really simple, quick steam, but the real hard work is gonna be coming from the actual shucking of every one of these crabs in here. And usually about one bushel equals to about three pounds of just lump crab meat. So we're gonna take this lump crab meat and make crab cakes out of it. Let's get started with the process. So first, I'm gonna take these crabs, put it into my Yeti cooler here, now I have a big ice pack in here already, but basically by putting crabs on ice, it helps make them really lethargic. So when you actually cook them, they don't, they don't like go all over the place and it's just a little more humane. Holy crap, that one almost bit me. Okay. So, ah! Ooh, did it get down? Yeah. Man. Look at that. That is a huge crab. Would you call him a barnacle man? <laughs> Dang. That's a big crab, y'all. Look at this. I'm gonna put him on ice. Now we're gonna let these chill and I'm gonna go set up my humongous steaming pot. And that's outside, so follow me. Hey, I didn't mean to scare you, I was just saying hi. Okay, so here's my big steaming pot. Look, inside here, it's a basket that I'm gonna put all my crabs into here. Then I can get my water and vinegar boiled up. Then I'll put my crabs in here. And we're gonna let it steam for about 40 minutes. So all I'm gonna put in here is some vinegar and water because I'm just steaming it to take the crab meat out. I don't really need to season it with too much. I'm gonna keep it really simple and keep the natural flavors of the crab. So water and a little bit of vinegar and steam them for about 40 minutes. You want some crabs? Are you interested in looking at the crabs? See the crabs? You wanna see what they look like? Boom. Careful, don't get pinched, Kira. Don't get pinched. Oh, I've got my special volunteer here. Her name is Erin, she's my fiance. And she's gonna help start the steam up, right? Okay. Okay, so first, let's take this out. Okay. Next, we're going to start pouring all of that in there. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the apple cider vinegar. Nice. Wow, you're doing a really great job. Don't pour the mother in there unless you already did. I already did. Okay. All right, let's pour this water in there too. Okay, now put this back in there and make sure that it doesn't touch. Okay. So you don't want the crabs to touch the water. So not this one. The next one, yeah. Like Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. It doesn't touch it yet. Okay, great. Now we're going to start up the... Take, it, take that back out. Okay. We're gonna start this, turn it on. You hear that, you hear that hissing? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to light it. Oh my God, I'm scared. Whoa! Whoa. 
Okay, they're all lethargic now. Can hardly move. <laughs> Holy cow! Heavy. Yeah. Hopefully it's not just water. I hope so. I hope they're full of meat. Sometimes we get what are called water crabs and there's hardly any meat in them. Ooh, smells vinegary. Whoa. All right, put the lid on. 40 minutes. We've got a bushel of crabs we just finished steaming. You know they're done when their their shells are orange. And what we're gonna do is just put them in the bushel that we got them from, and we're gonna start shucking them. My inner Marylander is so happy to see this. I know. <laughs> this is exact, and they're pretty heavy too. They're not they're not bad. Nice. Yeah, they're pretty nice. All right, so we have all of our crabs yes. in front of us. And today, instead of just straight up eating them, we're gonna do something different, right? We are. We're gonna shuck them all and have piles of lump crab meat so that we can make crab cakes. And usually I just straight just eat them nonstop. Just crab, 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 crab. But this time is gonna be different. We're gonna actually try and get all the meat out so that we can make Maryland style crab cakes, which is one of my favorite things to eat. Yes. And we're gonna try and make enough so that we can have friends and family over to share it with us. All so right. what do we do first? You're gonna teach us how to shuck a crab and we're gonna shuck all of these crabs together, right? I'm not an expert at shucking crabs, but I can show you what I know to get the crab meat out. And it's not that hard. It just takes a little bit of time to figure out how all the compartments work in a crab. Cool. And as long as you cut it this way, it should be pretty easy to get all the meat. Cool. So why don't you show us how to shuck one first, and then we'll just shuck all of these together and okay. have a great little right. summer. Get, make an afternoon of it. Yes, let's do it. Cool. Find a nice crab, a nice heavy crab. I'm going to show you with a heavier crab because it just has more meat in there. We're going to take the claws off. Put them to the side. Then we're going to open up the back right here. Right, that shell is dead. We're done with that. We're taking the gills out. Next, we're gonna take some scissors and we're gonna cut it at the knuckle right here. You see right here? We're gonna cut these parts off. All right, same thing on the other side. And these aren't the meatiest crabs I've ever seen, but you can already see how the meat kind of sits inside there. This is gonna be trash. All right, now from here, we're going to take our knife and pretty much cut it in half. Starting from up here, the top of the back fin, all the way down like that. And you can see all the compartments in here, right? You see all the meat? So we're going to just start picking this meat out. This is the back fin right here. And this is what they call a jumbo back fin. Now that's the back fin right there. This is that expensive part when you buy the crab cake with lumbo, jumbo lump crab meat. That's the lump, that's the back fin right there. Now we're just gonna put it in our pile right here and we're just gonna keep getting these compartments out like this. See that, more meat, more meat, more back fin, more meat. You see how easy it all comes out? And by the end of it, you'll just have a plate with a bunch of compartments and no meat left. Now the top part that we cut off, sometimes you're gonna have to like squeeze it and break some of the compartments to access the meat. And this is why I don't use gloves is because I need a little bit more dexterity to be able to get these smaller pieces in here. And I'm resisting with all my might to eat this right now because it's so easy to get it with your tongue. It's a lot harder to get with your fingers. And that is an entire crab body. You see that? It's nothing but the cartilage left. Now, to get the claws, these are my favorite because they're so easy to do. So from here, I'm just gonna give it a quick, right? Same thing on the other side. Just make a little notch in there. Then we're gonna break it. And that's how the claws come out. 
just like that. Same thing right here. Just make a little notch. There you go. Now from here, we can get the meat out. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that is sweet crab. Sweet, mm. sweet crab. Mmm. This is trouble because now I've got a taste. I'm gonna want to keep eating as I as I pick now. It's such like um, I didn't add any salt, but it it has like the natural saltiness from like the ocean, and it's so tender and sweet at the same time. This is such a great, delicious, delicate meat. I can't wait to pick all this and turn it into a crab cake. Aaron, you want to bite this? Definitely. Mmm. That's really good. Yes, it is. You know. We're two Marylanders living in Florida. These blue crabs are pretty good. Should I just leave the claws like this and, and just keep it like yeah, that? Yeah, maybe we should. We could always take them off later. What do you think? Yeah. This is about the meat of two crabs because I did a practice one before I filmed it. But this is the meat of two crabs right here. I have about maybe 40 crabs. Hopefully I'll get around three pounds of, of crab meat. That would be really awesome because then I can make crab cakes for maybe six people and that'll be a great dinner. So now is the time where we just sit down and really get to working. We've got a couple of drinks here. We're just gonna sit here, listen to some music, shuck crabs for the next hour. Maybe we'll sneak some. Kira, don't eat that. That's not for you. All right, let's get shucking. Have you been eating or shucking? Both. I've been eating and shucking. But look, look at that. This is like three pounds. Maybe even a little bit more than three pounds of meat right here. And we can freeze some of this. We can freeze it and we can make some of it into crab balls. We can make some of it into crab sticks. We can make it into gumbo. There's just so many things we can do with this crab now. Now that we've shucked it, we can save and preserve it, freeze it keep it for later. So let's take this inside and get cooking. So now we finished shucking all the crabs. I'm gonna weigh how much we actually got, but I mean, it looks like a good amount. Then I'm gonna show you guys how to make some Maryland style crab cakes. Aaron, I'm gonna need you to help me make some ingredients together. Okay. So we got two and a half pounds of crab meat here that I'm gonna divide so that we can make different things with it. First, we're gonna make Maryland style crab cakes. And then another day, I'm gonna make crab stuffed flounder, but I gotta go catch some flounder first. So let's start with the crab cakes. We're gonna need one pound of crabs. Okay, you wanna be really gentle with this meat. You don't wanna just mix it up too much. You wanna just be delicate. You wanna keep it in the chunk form. Just be gentle and delicate. Okay, that's about a pound right there. And look at how much meat we have left. So much. Okay, so I'm gonna need you to help with the rest of this, okay? <laughs> okay, so Brendan and I are from Maryland, um, and I think we kind of grew up eating crab cakes, right? Really easy to eat, 
because you don't have to pick them apart. And they're also super delicious. So that's what we're craving. Well, the no. Maryland crab cake, the special thing is that there's no filler, hardly any kind of filler, just right. a little bit of breadcrumbs. All meat. Okay, the recipe for this is really simple. You don't need a lot of ingredients. You basically just need crab meat, some breadcrumbs. We're gonna use unsalted saltines, an egg, mayonnaise, parsley, Worcestershire sauce. How do you say that? Worcester, Worcestershire. <laughs> Anyway, mustard and Old Bay. You gotta have the Old Bay if you're from Maryland. Basically combine all of the ingredients except for the crab meat and then you're gonna fold the crab meat in last. Cause like Brendan said, you wanna be really delicate with this meat. Leave it in the biggest chunks possible. So now we wanna gently fold this in. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so amazingly good. And then after that, we're gonna bake them. Right? Yep, that's it. Cool. We'll do a side of green beans, maybe a salad. That's a good dinner, right? Yeah, I can't wait. Set to 400 and we're gonna bake this for 20 minutes. Brendan's parents are coming over for dinner. I think his mom is really gonna like the crab cake. Supposedly that's one of her favorite foods, so we're gonna surprise her. They're done. I like the song. Wow! Let's get him out. Yeah, maybe next time. Oh my goodness! Special meal calls for a special place. Let's use our Japanese set. It took about two hours just to shuck the crabs. Mm. It took a long time to actually make the crab cakes too. It was just a long process. So oh, enjoy wow. every bite. Wow. It's good. Oh my God. Is it really good? I've never it's, made homemade crab cakes. There's not much filler. It's all crab meat. There's no filler, yeah. Oh, it tastes so good. So that rich. It's probably like wow. five crabs in it. So good. Yeah. Look at that lump crab mm. meat right there. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Aaron, I want you to take have the honors first. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's for you. Mm -hmm. How is it? Mm -hmm. good. Very good. Very good. Okay, my turn. Mm. Wow. Not salty at all. The best thing about this, the crab is for free. The crab was free. <laughs> Only the cost of the chicken. Not worth it. Yeah. This crab cake is so sweet because the meat is so good. It's not salty at all. I don't think we put any salt in it. Just the word. It's so tasty. It's really good, right? It's like so much flavor in it. Like you put a lot of stuff in it, but you didn't. It's really good. And it's really rich. It's great after a long day of infusion, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is probably the best crab cake I've ever had. I know, I was just thinking that. I don't know if it's a... Uh... Yeah. Because I shucked all the crabs <laughs> myself. Yeah, I'm eating a lot slower than any other crab thing I've ever eaten too. It is so sweet. It's so good. Not salty at all, like I said. Wow, we completely destroyed that. that was so Every good. last bit of it. Worth it? Super worth it, actually. Yeah, we were just talking and Brendan asked if if we had that many crabs again, would we shuck them again? And I think the answer for me is if I could invite, you know, like six other people to eat the crabs with us, I'm definitely just eating them whole yeah. and just chow down on a crab feast. But shucking them was great because 
we don't have a lot of people to eat with and we can save this meat. We only use, what, less than half? Less than half. Yeah, so we have less a bunch of crab meat left and I think it's gonna be We're gonna make delicious. it again tomorrow. We're gonna make a stuffed flounder and we're gonna just pack this flounder full of crab meat and um, bake the whole thing. It's gonna be so delicious. Uh, if you guys are interested in watching the Catch and Cook, we're gonna post this sometime in the next week or so. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was so fun for us to put together and to experience. So if you did, please consider subscribing to us. And uh, we put out a new video every Thursday at 7.30. Thank you. Peace. Bye.